Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we'll be talking about some really cool textured Hoyas. So Hoyas with fuzzy leaves or veiny leaves that have like different ridges or even Hoyas that just feel very different from your typical kind of smooth leafed Hoya. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And let's just get right into today's video. So first off, I do want to start by talking about this very cute Hoya, which is my Hoya Pachiclara. It's one of my favorites. It's adorable with its very thick, thick, thick. I need to emphasize thick. Thick fuzzy leaves. So these are the leaves on this Pachiclata. As you can see, very light green. I think if you give it less light, it'll be a bit darker, but because mine is sitting under my grow lights, borders of the leaves are like a pinkish red color and barely. It's hard to pick up on camera, but in person it looks a lot more vibrant. Um, yeah, the leaves are very, very fuzzy and just not like hairy like some Hoyas. I don't like hairy like that kind of disturbs me <laughs> but fuzzy fuzzy is when it's like like short very short little hairs that are more fine in texture so whenever i feel this hoya that's the way i would describe it just a fuzzy hoya very adorable i love kind of just feeling the leaves and it's just very easygoing plant and this was paired up with one of my adorable handmade planters and it's available on my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. I'll leave a link down below. My Etsy shop is Glorious Plants and Pots. I make these handmade on the pottery wheel and I fire them, glaze them, do all the things so that they make very great pairings with your small little plants. So yeah, super, super cute. And what I absolutely love about this Hoya is that it requires very little water. So Hoyas with very thick leaves can retain a lot of water inside its leaves so it doesn't dry out as quickly. If you were to, you know, be a few days late on the watering, it won't like absolutely die on you like some very finicky and more delicate Hoyas. So yeah, I really enjoy the texture of the leaves and the low maintenance care this Pachiclata requires. Another fuzzy Hoya that I want to talk about is my Hoya Numelarioides. So not only is this Hoya very, very fuzzy, but it's a very prolific bloomer. Although it's not in bloom right now, I can insert some photos of um, how it normally looks like when it's in bloom. It's very, very pretty. The um, scent of the flowers are like not super strong from what I remember, but because I usually have this in the living room, it's in a very ventilated area. It's like spacious. It doesn't feel very suffocating. I haven't had this in my bedroom in a while, so I can't fully remember if the blooms are really strong. Besides the point, it's just a very fuzzy, once again, Hoya. It's not as thick as the Hoya Pachiclara that I just showed, but it's still just as fuzzy. The fuzz on this one is a little bit more rough. I feel like the Pachiclara has like smoother fuzz. This one is less fuzz and a bit more rough. So if you are really into fuzzy Hoyas and you've never had either of these, I would say go for the Pachiclata first. Um, it has a more kind of fun texture compared to this one, although I still really like the Numelarioides. They have different properties that I like for either of the plants, but still very pretty and very common plant, I would say. It's very easy to buy like a big plant, like five, six inch pot and be cheaper than if you were to buy a Pachiclata. That one is also a slower grower compared to the Numelarioides. So if you want fast growing, less fuzz, but still fuzz, and prolific bloomer, get a Hoya Numelarioides. I would say those are my top three characteristics for this plant. Last of the fuzzy Hoyas I want to talk about is the Fungi. So this is the Hoya Fungi. Hopefully you guys can see, but this one has the fuzz only not, mm, it has some fuzz on the front of the leaves, the but the fuzz is mainly on the backs of the leaves. Um, a little hard to tell on camera, but you just have to trust my word for it. It's a little dusty and crusty, but that's okay. This one did not get a shower today, unlike the other Hoyas that I just showed. But this one, if you are into kind of veiny Hoyas with fuzz, 
this would be the Hoya for you. So this has some very beautiful veining on the leaves. You could definitely see it from the contrast between the veins and the background of the leaves. So the veins are a little bit darker against the lighter color background. And it's just very, very pretty, very fuzzy. And it's a really good pairing to have both fuzzy and also veiny leaves versus the other two that I showed you. They both didn't really have much veination going on, if that's a word, but this one definitely does. It catches the eye a bit more if you want the visual aspect of it. So it's good to kind of have like one of each, <laughs> like if you were to kind of have a bigger collection. But if you were to choose one, I feel like I still like my Pachaclata the most out of the three of these. I like really thick leaves and fuzzy. So those are like definitely traits that I love in plants. But this one's still very much a favorite of mine as well, just because fuzzy texture leaves are just so fun. Whenever you're cleaning the plants, it's not just, it doesn't feel like a typical wax plant, which are what Hoyas are. They have like a waxy coating on the outer uh, surface of the leaf, but these ones have a little bit more texture. So more interesting. And I love this paired with this pig planter that I made. Also super cute. I find like anytime there's a face planter paired with a pot, it just makes me feel like the leaves are like the hairstyle of the plant. I don't know if that makes sense. But like this is the hair on the pig. And then this one is the hair on this mad angry face. <laughs> Next up, this one is a bit of a different texture. I would say this is my Hoya Latifolia. And the difference in this texture compared to like a regular Hoya wax plant is that you can really feel the ridges on the leaves of this Hoya. Every time there's veining, it just feels like it like protrudes from the leaf. So it is really cool. It doesn't feel like super like just fully smooth like some other plants. The ridges on these leaves give it a bit more visual interest compared to something like, you know, obovada where it just feels like it's smooth. The Hoya fungi that I just showed, that one you can't feel like any bumps or any of the texture of the veiny. You could just see it versus this one you can see and you can feel. So very different. And I love how like each Hoya is just a little bit different. I know a lot of people just buy Hoyas for, you know, their flowers, their blooms, and like being able to see the different variations and how different plants bloom for you. I really like the um, foliage on Hoyas. So I don't always buy Hoyas just for the blooms. I usually, for the most part, since they're not in bloom like 24 seven, like every day of the year, you have to really enjoy how the plant looks like when it's not in bloom. To keep in your collection and care for it water it every week do all the plant maintenance and it's just a lot of work so you have to make sure you like looking at them <laughs> number one and number two you have to enjoy taking care of them so this one also very easy plant and i just love this hoya latifolia and yes very kind of different texture from like the fuzzy hoyas that i just showed but i wanted to include it in case you wanted something that was high veination the last one I want to talk about, I actually don't have this plant, but I find this one a little bit interesting. I used to not really like this one as much because I had a fear of mealybugs hiding in this plant, but I've since overcome my fear and I'm starting to kind of like it. But so this one is the Hoya Crinkle 8. So it's a Hoya that has very crinkly looking leaves that like curl on each other. So when there's a lot of these leaves, it ends up looking like a rope which is kind of cool when you think about it. And obviously I've inserted photos to show you how it looks like, but as I said previously, my fear was that mealybugs would hide in between the little nooks and crannies of the leaves since it's all like curled up on itself that you would never be able to like fully clean it or like treat it or even like notice when mealybugs happen. But since I've, you know, honestly had so many mealybug infestations in my plant collection, like over the years that I've been collecting plants, I've gotten over that fear. So you just have to treat it when it comes and you can't just be scared of pests all the time. Like they just happen. <laughs> plants are living things and like they just attract bugs. So whatever. Anyway, cause it's all like curly. If you were to like touch the entire like rope, the entire strand of the Hoya with all the leaves, 
it would just feel really cool i think and i'm really excited to you know one day add this to my collection if i were to find it i don't really want a variegated one i don't want a small little baby one with just like one strand i want like a lot of the plant kind of spilling over the pot i think that would look really cool but i also don't want to spend that much money on a new hoya so i have to kind of weigh out the pros and cons of this plant so yeah those are the plants that i wanted to talk about in terms of ones that had really cool texture if you have any additional hoyas you wanted to share with like cool texture whether it's like fuzziness or like you can feel the veining or it's just like a really curly looking leaf drop a comment down below i would love to know because i'm always on the hunt to add new plants to my collection that hopefully are low maintenance and don't require too much care and are not too expensive so i have some criteria but i'm sure other people would love to know so yeah share your recommendations down in the comments below i definitely read all my comments so don't forget to comment and uh thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye